Chapter 11 Less than a mile away and within a hundred feet of the lake, we pulled into a large parking lot. What is it with America and her love affair with asphalt? Were there not other untapped resources? Other ways than road construction and concrete infrastructure building and rebuilding to fuel their special economy? Was this some sort of greater design of which we were unaware? Concrete mud mask on the face of the earth? What an experiment. What awful surfaces trying to cover up God's greenhouse. And the only guarantee was failure. Cracks and fissures as Mother Earth broke free of any and all oppressive confines. Patchwork efforts to keep her in line. All these pet projects seemed only to serve the purpose of booing employment percentages. But why not employ the people in other ways more fruitful? This was a question I would throw out to the atmosphere, for there was no local representative who was not possessed with the fear around the implications of admitting to the larger blisters on American economic policy. Freddy ordered me out of the van. I walked ahead of him toward the orange-pink neon sign that read Merritt Bakery, a historical landmark for local residents, I discovered. Not by looking at it. The only redeeming feature was the giant neon sign. If I could have an industrial space of my own, large enough to hold it, I'd put it in my living room for sure. I was angry at Freddy, and he knew it. I glared at him over his fried chicken and waffles. Still, he had that calm in his eyes, which seemed contraindicated in this hood. He was trying to break into my thoughts, but I resisted. I saw he meant well. He wanted only to help calm my ass down. His smile was the Buddha kind, a flat smile just slightly turned up at either end, indicative of the same bizarre Pacific facade. I tried to push back past his firewalls to see if I could know more. Eavesdropping was against my principles, but he was on a full court press, so... I pressed back as I bit into the horn of my croissant. Then suddenly, surprisingly, he let me in. Everything about me suddenly relaxed. My body, my anger. The flakes of croissant tickled my esophagus while the powdered sugar dissolved on my tongue in all the right places. Holy shit. This strange wedding cake strewn oversized square footage bakery slash Popeyes with a kidney shaped layout was suddenly all aglow in my pink neon heart. A rising soft hearted machine bakes a mean croissant and it goes down so nice. All is not as it appears. Freddy, a hard exterior with a soft core. And as I chewed slowly, I came upon my manners in slow motion, watching this crazy man who'd done me wrong. Yeah, he'd done me wrong in so many ways. Yeah, 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 but wait. Wait for the miracle, and here it is. Hit me between the eyes. Watching him, watching me. That Buddha smile. That hard exterior. That soft core.